Well, welcome to Meal Pro Cooking Channel. If you're just tuning in to us, my name is Chef Dan Catania, and we're on the mother sauces. So this one here that we're going to do today, that I'm going to do today, is called a velouté. So please, there's all these weird words, what these weird uh, titles for these uh, sauces and stuff. Well, velouté in the French language actually means velvet. So it's velvety smooth. So velouté in French, which makes your sauce has to be velvety. So how are you going to create that? I'll show you here in a minute. All right, so let's get going. So I'm going to turn on my burner. Medium heat, and I like to use extra virgin olive oil, so I'm going to use a little extra virgin olive oil in my pan. Just sprinkle the bottom of it and coat it real good, and let that heat up. Okay, so with this sauce, I'm going to make enough for like maybe uh, enough for four to five people, right? So on the mirepoix part of it, I'm just going to add like maybe a half a cup of the mirepoix. Mirepoix is onions, carrots, and celery. That's what a mirepoix is. And what does that do? It adds flavor to your sauces, okay? So I'm just going to add maybe a half a cup of the mirepoix inside of my sauce pot. And we're just gonna let that simmer, I mean cook up a little bit. And you just want the juices and all the flavors to come out of the carrots. They were eventually gonna do that in the sauce, but I just like cooking it off just a little bit uh, before I start adding my other ingredients to it. So this is a very basic sauce, but however, remember I said I'm gonna make it a fortified velouté, a fortified velouté. So let's talk about velouté again. A velouté is a mother sauce. There's five of them. There's espagnole, we did one on the, on the show already. Bechamel, we did another one on the show already. Tomato, hollandaise, and then velouté. So this looks looking pretty good here. So our velouté. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my broth, okay? I'm gonna add my broth to these. This is stock, I'm not gonna add that. I want broth. And the reason why I want broth is because of the fact that it's more richer than the stock because it's made with the bone, with the meat on the bones. So I'm going to add the broth. I'm going to go halfway up this pot, sauce pot. Okay, so with just a little bit of salt and pepper, you tighten this up with a roux. Or you could use a slurry. So the difference, you remember that now? What the difference between a roux and a slurry is? A roux is usually fat and flour combination, more like a real thick oatmeal. Then you take that and you add that as your thickening agent to your sauce. Or you use a slurry. A slurry is what we're going to use today. It's just flour and a liquid of some sort. And I always tell you, don't use water when you make your slurries, okay? A lot of, I remember my mom when I was growing up, she would, she would take the flour to do her gravy. She'd just pour it out of the sink and put the water in there. Use some of the liquid, reserve some of that liquid, like your stock, your wines and stuff, so you can make your slurries in with that uh, wine or your stock. Never use cold water because it's gonna just take your sauces to another level and it's gonna make them weak. So you just wanna use it, the liquid that you're cooking with to make your slurry, and we'll do that today. All right, so I have this going on. It's, it's uh, gonna be simmering pretty quick. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna certify, I mean, I'm going to uh, um, fortify this stock by adding some other ingredients, okay? So I'm adding a couple of bay leaves to it, right? Okay, in this cup here, I have some, some dry thyme and a little bit of dry oregano and basil. So it depends too on what you're gonna use this velouté sauce for. If you're gonna use it to make a chicken piccata, you may wanna add a little bit more ingredients leaning, or dry ingredients and herbs leaning more toward the Italian culture. So I'm gonna make a chicken piccata with this sauce with this. So I'm going to add a good pinch of the oregano and the basil and thyme. And then I have a seasoning mix. Okay, the seasoning mix uh, I created has uh, about six or seven different ingredients into it and I just blend them all together and then I put them in a small little container that I empty out and just put Chef Dan seasoning mix. You do what you want. It's the onion salt, garlic salt, celery salt, white pepper, uh, so all these ingredients, I mix them all together, put them in these bottles, and I use it for my seasoning. So I'm just going to take a little pinch of that in there, inside of my velouté. Okay, stir that up. Okay, so here comes more certifying, okay? Here comes more certifying, that means uh, fortifying of the sauce. So I'm going to add... Remember we had this at the other sauce that I made, the velouté, I mean the espagnol? This is a vegetable paste, right? It's a real uh, vegetable paste that you could buy at the store. Uh, and I'm just going to add, like, it's a little tip of that vegetable paste inside of that sauce. 
Let's stir that around there a little bit. Let it come off the spoon. I'd say maybe a half a teaspoon of the vegetable base. Okay, and then I also have some chicken paste, right? It's a concentrate. So like this little tub right here makes five gallons of, of chicken broth, a chicken stock, this little one pound tub. So I'm just gonna add a, tea, a tip of my teaspoon of that right into my velute. And remember, it's already a, a broth that, you've, uh, that you have going there. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir that up. Okay, it's coming to a real nice simmer. Do you remember, what's the name of this sauce now? Right, velute. That's the, that's the one of the mother sauces, velute. Okay, so that's simmering pretty good. Now at this point, I'm gonna take my uh, flour, and I don't use all-purpose flour. I like using rice flour, potato flour, uh, or starch, half and half starch, half potato flour, and marry them half and half. Because there are, sometimes there's people that may come to your home and they, they want to have gluten-free food. They may have celiac, so they don't want to eat any flours. It upsets their tummies. So most of the stuff I use when I do my thickening are potato starch or rice flours uh, like that uh, inside of my thickening of my sauces. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to take some white wine. I'm going to pour about maybe a quarter of a cup inside of my flour. And you can use any type of white wine. I like for my uh, velouté sauces to use a, 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 um, a Chardonnay because it's a little bit more on the sweeter side. And then just got to make sure that you, when you do your, your um, slurry, that it's, it, you, it, you make it thin enough to where you could pour it into your sauce gradually. Okay? And you just take and you dissolve all your rice flour and potato flour and starch all up. So I'm just going to add just a hint more. Just stir that around so you can just see how that's being stirred around and then blended. Okay, so that's going well. And then what I'm going to do is just I'm going to gradually add this into my sauce until it gets to the thickened the consistency that I want it. And another thing with your uh, slurries or your roux, you could save it. You don't have to throw it out. You could put it in a little small container, put it in your freezer, pull it out, put it in the microwave for like one minute, half minute to get it to thaw, and you could still continue to use it. Okay, so you remember the word velouté in French? What does that mean? It means velvety. So you want your consistency of your sauce nice and smooth and velvety consistency, right? So I'm doing a, a fortified chicken velouté. And you could also do fish velouté. You could do um, different styles of velouté, vegetable velouté of some sorts, because all it really is is to stock, and then you're thickening that uh, up with a roux or your starch slurry. Okay, so that looks seems to be right. So at this point, always taste your food. Never not taste your items that you're putting out. It's because you may need to put a little bit more pepper, salt. One yay. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my bowl. All right, I'm going to take move my whip from the bowl. Okay, and then I'm going to just take that and pour that inside of my strainer. Then you could also use cheesecloth too if you choose to do that uh, when you strain. Uh, you don't really have to as long as you have a real fine, fine, fine um, strainer. That'll do just as well. And then I'm just going to take it and just Drip it in there. Make sure that it all, all goes through. Okay, it does. All right, and at this point too, I want to make add some butter. Okay, so the French call this monte à beurre. Monte à beurre. Beurre in French uh, is butter. Monte is to fold it in. Okay, so I'm just going to take a couple pieces of the butter, putting it right inside. Okay, and then I'm, if you could see the chunks of the butter there, okay, inside of the velouté. And then you say to yourself, well, you know what, my velouté is a little bit on the thicker side. I wanted it a little bit more thinner than that. So what you do is you just take your broth and just pour a little bit of the broth in there to thin it to the consistency that you may want it. Okay. All right, so there we have the, a nice, beautiful chicken velouté. Okay. 
And then other shows what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and I'm going to do some sauces that derive from all the mother sauces. Like if I add some, some lemon and mu mushrooms inside of this and fresh chopped herbs, it becomes a sauce alimand. Sauce aliman. What do you use aliman for? Maybe a poached chicken of some sort or poached vegetables or something that this aliman sauce goes over. Okay, so that's it on the sauce for the um, uh, volute. So if you could see how nice and smooth that is. Okay, so volute, a volute, velvety smooth, volute, right? Okay, so I'm just going to pour a little bit on, your, on my plate and just show you and swirl it around a little bit so you could see the consistency of that volute. Okay, so there's a velouté. So once you start adding like heavy cream in it, other garnishes in there like mushroom, some diced vegetables, then it takes that whole mother sauce into another small sister sauce or baby sauce that I call it. That's why they call them mother sauces. So there's the chicken velouté. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, uh, click the videos if you like the video. And also subscribe to us at our channel because we have marvelous food here cooked from scratch, all fresh products. You're really going to enjoy it at, here at Meal Pro. So thanks again for tuning in. God bless you and Arrivederci.